On February 29th uh, this year, 2020, I went to Melbourne for a car show. It was sponsored by the uh, Antique Automobile Club of America, the AACA, and it was held at the American Muscle Car Museum. And that's what, th this is the ante room of the American Muscle Car Museum, showing you some of their prize collection. However, this is just a, uh, a hint of what lies in wait. Here's the interior section. They have over 300 cars here. Unbelievable assortment of uh, muscle cars. Porsches, as you can see, Camaros, Mustangs, all kinds of things. It uh, has really sensory overload. Man, you see all the signs they have. There was a huge crowd here. Now this museum is not normally open. It only opens for special occasions and this was a benefit for the uh, teachers uh, of, of uh, the uh, county, Brevard County. So that's why this was open. And of course the show, uh, it was a, a nice nice blend into the show at uh, the museum too. So all kinds of cars and I, I just wanted to give you a brief glimpse of what's here and this is one of my favorites here a 58 Ford Skyliner I love the color the retractable uh, hardtop convertible amazing car this color combination is uh, really great uh, this very light uh, yellow and uh, like a silver or slate color very nice and a little further on in the video I'm going to show you a turnpike mercury turnpike cruiser that uh, was pace car for the Indy 500 he has a collection of uh, pace cars from the Indy 500 which is just staggering here. And of course there's the Chevy and well, the more Chevys and Corvettes. And I, there were so many people here, <clears throat> you know, I just pointed the camera and aimed. Uh, there are so many people, I, I cut out parts that people were totally in the way. But I just want to give you some idea of what the cars are like here. I asked, uh, are, are all these owned by this individual? And the answer is yes. You know, some museums have cars there that are on loan by uh, the owner, and uh, this is not the case here. These are all owned by this individual who uh, who is a philanthropist. Uh, I I'm going to uh, post uh, in the above the comments section the uh, site uh, for the museum so you can learn more about the museum and uh, the uh, owner of the museum I think the generally it's only open twice a year and it wasn't open all day this day either I think it opened at 10 and closed at 2 uh, this hordes of people coming through makes it difficult to video, of course. But I did the best I could, and uh, maybe someday you can uh, see this for yourself. But you have to you have to prepare in advance to be able to do it because generally it's closed. They have so many cars, they have them up on these uh, racks. And the building is new, it's beautiful. Hold on, because I'm going to get to the bicycles in a little bit. That's an interesting thing, too. Just so many things here. Now here's a Turnpike Cruiser that is the... Uh, was a pace car for the 57 uh, Indy 500. 
It's a personal favorite of mine. I love these turnpike cruisers. And they have push button <clears throat> to, uh, drive too, just like the uh, just like the uh, Packard had at one point and also uh, Mopar. But these this was an electronic uh, setup. And just like the Edsel, I gather. There's memorabilia from the race. And we go on. There's a Shelby Ford truck. <clears throat> everything, <clears throat> excuse me, everything is marked too, so there's no question about what, what you're looking at. So this doesn't give you a full appreciation of the museum, but it does give you a little bit of an idea of the breadth of it. And the funny part about it is I had no idea it existed. That's why it's neat to come out to the uh, car shows and you find out about these things. Alright, hold on, we're approaching the bicycles coming up shortly. Here they are, and this is a 41. Modern looking, really. That was the girl's model, and this is the boy's model. Columbia is a famous name in bicycles. Now, this is an interesting one. A Schwinn Aerocycle. The Holy Grail of bicycles. Notice the streamlined tank there and the siren or whatever that is. It's quite early too, so it kind of goes along with the uh, Chrysler airflow. And uh, the Green Hornet. Schwinn Green and Ivory. Now, Harley Davidson made a commemorative uh, bicycle. And here it is. Nineteen ninety-eight, they only made a thousand of them, and that's one of them. And there's a similarity in the tank. <laughs> Another interesting one. A Schwinn. Notice how the headlight is fared into the fender. It's 47. And then uh, we have this uh, would be a very popular bicycle at the time. Another Schwinn. And it's a 100th anniversary model. Wow. And this one, <laughs> Hopalong Cassidy, can you believe it? There's the studs there and the fenders and little decoration and twin, uh, twin guns there in the holster. <laughs> Just in case you meet any villains on the trail. You're all set. <laughs> and this isn't a Schwinn. Roll right or something like that. I can't quite make that out. Very interesting. <laughs> 